for some skid racing. Woo! Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2015 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Up front is a 3.8 liter V6 and down below is a six-speed manual gearbox. So this car is owned by a good friend of mine named Derek and if you notice that I'm sitting pretty far from the camera and pretty far from everything, that's because Derek is a really tall guy but he built this car himself he's done all the work to it which i'll get to a little bit later in the video yes he's the one that tilted the wheels but i think it looks really good but again we'll get to that in a second derek the owner of this car is also the owner of the bmw e30 that i reviewed the brown e30 that terrified me because i thought i was going to die in it so let's talk about that 3.8 liter v6 now it was rated at 350 horsepower from the factory, which I did not know. I had no idea these cars pushed 350 horses from the factory. That's impressive. And they sound good. I did not think they'd sound this good. also a four-cylinder turbo option but obviously this one isn't it and it was actually a little bit slower the v6 without a turbo was actually faster than the turbo model which is pretty interesting now the six-speed manual transmission it's nothing fancy I mean I really I don't notice anything crazy to get to reverse it's like the BMW and actually mini that I just reviewed where reverse is all the way to the left and then you gotta kind of muscle it there's like a little safety feature and then it'll allow you to get into reverse but overall the drivetrain feels pretty solid and you know what i don't know if i would prefer the turbo four cylinder granted i've never driven one but this this feels good enough this feels powerful enough i'm not complaining about the power at all i'm not thinking like oh you know this thing really needs a turbo i think it's totally fine and from what I've heard, which again surprises me, is that the turbo is slower. Now right off the bat, one of the faults with the powertrain, not really fault, but the lack of a limited slip differential. Now, it, this car does have an open diff, which is fine, but for enthusiasts who like to get a little bit sideways, a limited slip, it would be nice. It would be nice, because as you'll see in this video, you could still drift it, but it is a lot harder uh, with an open diff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just spun tire. I did not think that would happen. I really did not think I would spin tire in a Hyundai. In a Hyundai. I am I am shook if I don't I don't know what else to say. Because if you guys remember, I've reviewed a Kia before, and an, a Kia Rio, and an, a Hyundai Elantra, and this is what I said in them. It is a little bit peppier than you'd think, or at least it feels that way, but you're not going to be setting any type of speed records in a Hyundai, let's be honest, really any Hyundai. Sorry Genesis fans. But no, like I said in the Elantra video, and I'll say it again in this video, you're not going to win any races with a Kia or Hyundai. You're just not. I'm sorry. And I have never been happier to eat my words, to just completely regret what I said. I've never been happier because this thing, this thing ain't slow. So let's talk about the interior. While this interior is, I would say, pretty heavily modified, obviously you have the racing bucket seats, which I wasn't a fan of. And I'm gonna be honest, if you're a larger guy like me, bucket seats, racing seats are not your friend. But these seats are actually, once you slide into them, they feel good. All right, now for those of you who are looking for a mods list, this is from Derek himself. This might take a little second. So, 
BC Racing Coilovers, VIS K2 Carbon Fiber Duck Bill Trunk, Extreme Dimensions Hot Wheels Side Skirts, Illust Red Bride Seats, Custom Bride Center Console Cover, Vertex 7 Star Steering Wheel, NRG Short Hub, NRG Tilt Hub, Front Lip Custom Bash Bar, Diamond Stitched Leather Door Cards and Pillars, ISR Short Throw Shifter, Happy Ending Shift Knob, Metallic Painted Center Trim, Wood Floor Trunk, 20% Tints, Muffler Delete, Quad Blast Pipes are coming soon, BMW Style 95 Wheels, Hella Horns Painted White, Color Changing Underglow, Interior Footwell Lights and Strobes, Front and Rear Strobes, LED Turn Signals and Reverse Lights, which are freaking bright. Custom front camber adjustment, ISR front lowering, lower control arms, custom front caster arms, ISR rear suspension components, which are camber arms, upper and lower trailing arms. That is what is done to this car, along with some stickers. Let's get to the actual OEM interior. Now the OEM interior is pretty standard. The gauges light up blue, which I think is a nice touch. It's a little blue rings around uh, the gauges. And in the center of it, you get a little screen that'll give you your mileage, which this car only has 19,000 miles, which is impressive. Uh, considering the fact that it's been slammed since about a thousand miles in. You can get a gauge and you can select a few different things uh, if you have the stock steering wheel and whatnot. <laughs> then on the center console you get a little radio. It looks like the same radio out of the Elantra. Really basic. I mean it, it's literally a two color screen. Um, that's really it and it looks like the same controls down below as well. Hyundai probably just picked it out of their parts bin which is fine. Um, I get it, they're not going to make a custom radio for every car, but just just something I noticed. But then down below that, you get three gauges. Now, on the turbo option, in the middle, you get a boost gauge. But since this doesn't have a turbo, they gave you a torque gauge, which is really interesting. I don't know why you'd need a torque gauge. I don't really know how that would specifically work. But nevertheless, you have it. To the right of that, you get oil temperature. To the left of that, you get fuel consumption. Which again, I don't really understand fuel consumption gauges. I get like average MPG. That's nice to have. But I don't really understand a fuel consumption gauge. Then down below that, you have your air conditioning. Pretty standard. And that's really it. You get a little cubby hole that will reveal the USB port and uh, cigarette lighter or whatever kind of port that is. I don't know what it's normally called. I recently called it a cigarette lighter and people like looked at me weird. But that's really it for the interior. Again, a really simple interior. But what you have to realize is that these cars are great bang for your buck. 350 horsepower for when it was new was about $26,000, which Right now, that's about the same price as a new Miata, and the new Miata puts out 150, maybe? But granted, it's lighter, sure, but I mean, for just horsepower for dollar brand new, this is pretty impressive. So let's talk about the way this looks. Well, if I'm honest, from the front, stock Genesis's just don't do it for me. They look a little weird stock. Now this car, Derek's car, I think actually looks awesome, but it's really towards the back in which I really start to fall in love with the look of the Genesis. They've got these like, it almost looks wide body at the back if you kind of look at it. They've got these almost hips on the back that flow into the rear taillights and the more and more I look at it, the more and more I just love it. I think that looks so cool. And of course this car is actually st sitting on BMW wheels like I said before. Uh, so I think it just looks really cool. It's really unique. Um, you're not going to see another Genesis like that. And I really like that. And I'm, I'm really happy for Derek that he's gotten this car to the point that he really likes it. And he's going to focus on other cars. So would I buy a Hyundai Genesis with the 3.8 liter V6? At the beginning of this review, no. I would not have bought one of these. It's a Hyundai. I mean, that's... Hyundai and Kia were forever ruined in my head because of the Rio and Elantra. They were terrible. They're horrible, gutless, soulless cars. But then they made this. This is not gutless. This is not soulless. This thing gurgles and snarls and bites and it wants more. It spins tires through multiple gears. It'll spin in third. A Hyundai did that. Do you realize what I'm saying? A Hyundai spun tires through multiple gears. Your head should be exploding at this moment. But no, it'll do it. It'll spin gears. I really like
like this car. It's a lot faster than I thought it would be. The price per horsepower, I don't have specific numbers, but it's great value for your money. 350 horses for around 26 grand? What's not to love about that? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you guys enjoyed Derek's car. I know I totally did. This thing, this thing's all right. But I hope you guys learned a little bit something more about the Genesis, but don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you really liked it, and I'll be back with more reviews very, very soon. Take care, guys.